A governorship candidate under the auspices of the All Progressive Congress in Adamawa, Abdullahi Ahmed, says the state and Nigeria in general will have lasting peace between farmers and herders only if the governors adopt the Ruga option. Ahmed, who disclosed this in Yola, said the incessant clashes between farmers and herders in the country would only come to an end if the Fulanese are given a befitting place in all states across the Federation to rear their cattle. He, however, blames the governors for fueling the crisis between farmers and herders by not doing what he described as the needful. I will go for Ruga option and I can tell you how I'll do it. This is a state that have a lot of cattle yes. and we are proud to have a lot of much more than any other person in Nigeria. What you do is just allocate an area. This area, allocate it purposely for the cattle only. If you go out of this place, you are breaking the law and you should be penalized. That is the Ruga option. Mm -hmm. Provide all the facilities, schools, water, even veterinary, the veterinary clinics, they should be there. And the farmers go free. They will be, they, they, be farming. No, no cattle will go and encroach, no fighting, nothing. It's a very simple concept brought by the federal government, but people kicked against it simply because they don't want to sit down and listen. From Yola now down uh, to uh, Lagos, where I'm um, or still on the same story, Ahmed also promised to take legal action if the government of uh, Amadou Fintiri goes ahead to collect the 100 billion naira bond he planned to acquire, which, according to him, will make the state run into penury. On the value added tax controversy, he urges the state government not to support the reforms because it is not uh, the viable option at the moment. It is only natural. Lagos and Rivers will go to court and demand for whatever they want in the court because they are comfortable economically, they are comfortable at their position. But for Adamawa State to support that reform, it means not paying salary at all. It means not even living because those are monies that are contributed by states all over, given to federal government and federal government share, including Adamawa State. We are sharing in that money. It's very funny. There are only two people that can do that. It's only the governor does not understand the word VAT. Or he does not understand the reform in VAT, uh, uh, in VAT regime. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.